Hello children. Now we will discuss about prime and composite numbers. So children, open your book, page number 53. Prime and composite numbers. Children, what are prime numbers? Numbers that have only two factors are known as prime numbers. For example, you can see 2, 3, 5 and 7. They have only two two factors. So they are known as prime numbers. Then comes to composite number. The number that have more than two factors are known as composite number. For example, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 10. You see, they have more than two factors. Th here three factors, here four factors, here also four, four factors. So, they are known as composite number. But children, you see, one has only one factor. So, it is known as unique number. Clear about prime, composite and unique number? Then comes to finding the prime numbers from 1 to 100. This method invented by a Greek mathematician, Erathosnes, helps us to find prime numbers from 1 to 100 easily without missing out any. Let's see. Here some points are given we have to follow. Cross out 1. 1 is not a prime number. It is a unique number. Then cross out all multiples of 2 leaving the first prime number 2. Here you cross out first one. Then except 2 other multiples of 2 you can cross out. That is 4, 6, then 8. Okay, like this. 3 point is Cross out all multiples of 3 except 3. Then cross out the multiples of 5 and 7 leaving 5 and 7. Fifth bit is all crossed out numbers except 1 are composite numbers and rest are prime numbers. So except 1 what are not crossed out they are known as prime numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7 here you find out. And which are crossed out? They are known as composite number. Then children, you list 1 to 100 which are prime number and which are composite number. This is your homework. Then facts about prime numbers. One number is 2 is the smallest prime number. 2 number. 2 is the only even prime number. 3 bit is for a two digit number to be prime, the possible digits in one's place are 1, 3, 7 and 9. For example, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29 etc. So, you have to remember these facts. Then comes to Twin prime numbers. The prime numbers with a difference of 2 are called twin prime numbers. There is a composite number between the twin prime numbers. For example, 3 and 5, 5 and 7, 11 and 13, 29 and 31, 41 and 43 are twin primes. Then comes to Co-prime numbers. What are co-prime numbers? Two numbers which have only one is their common factor are called co-prime numbers. For example, 5 and 9, 6 and 7, etc. have one is common factor. These numbers have common factor is 1. Then co-prime 
numbers are not necessarily prime numbers. For example, 8 and 15 are not prime, but they are co-prime. Any two consecutive numbers are always co-prime. For example, 8 and 9, 100 and 103 are co-prime numbers. Two prime numbers are always co-prime, but two co-prime numbers need not be prime. So children, these points you have to learn and remember. And these facts also you remember. Then comes to prime factorization. A number can be expressed as the product of prime factors. Children, you have learnt two methods of prime factorization in class 4. Let's see, this is the first method and this is the second method. This is known as tree method. Okay, 24 means 6, 4 is 24. Then 6 means 2, 3 is 6, 4 means 2, 2 is 4. Second method is 24 equal to 2 multiply 12. Then 12 means 2, 6 is 12. Here 6 means 2, 3 is 6. So 24 equal to 2 multiply 2 multiply multiply 3 multiply 3. Okay. Then third method. One more method can be used for prime factorization called the sort division method. And it is very easy also. First you write like this 24 means 2 Multiply 12 equal to 24. Then 12 means 2, 6 is 12. 6 means 2, 3 is 6. Then 24 equal to double 2 multiply 2 multiply 3. Or triple 2 multiply 3 is the factors of 24. We will use the sort division method to find SCM and LCM. So children, whatever I taught you, again you read properly at your home. And your homework is list the prime and composite numbers 1 to 100. You write in your copy. Next video we will discuss about exercise 5.2. Thank you.